Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 2d into y equal to e power x sin x by the method of variation of parameters. Right? Solution. d square minus 2d into y e power x sin x equals to e power x sin x is a given differential equation considered as equation number 1 which is of the form f of d into y equals to some function of x a q of x or whatever ok where f of d equal to d square minus 2d if you notice we don't have any variable questions in LHS part right so the given differential, sorry, the given differential equation, we need to find the solution of the given differential equation, the general solution using y equals to yc plus yp, right? We'll find yc using the auxiliary equation and later we'll find yp using some process or processor. Let's see. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we are having f of d d square minus 2d, let's replace the differential operator d by m, so that will get f of m equal to m square minus 2m, then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m equal to 0, now take m common from the two terms, we'll get m times m minus 2 equal to 0, right, equate each factor to 0, then we'll get m equal to 0, m minus 2 equal to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equal to 2. So the roots are m equal to 0 and 2, which are real and distinct, right? We know that when two roots are real and distinct, say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then yc will be c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 into e power another root into x. Now let's write the complementary function. We'll get therefore yc equal to c1 e power 0 into x plus c2 into e power 2 into x. Right? From this we'll get c1 into e power 0 plus c2 into e power 2x which is equals to c1 into 1 plus c2 into e power 2x or y equal to c1 plus sorry y c equals to c1 plus c2 e power 2x right so just compare y c with c1 u plus c2 v then u equal to 1 and v equal to e power 2x. Okay. This is our complementary function. And from this we got u equal to 1 and v equal to e power 2x. Now we need to find the particular integral. Let the particular integral of the given equation be yp equal to just replace c1 and c2 by a and b which are functions of x okay then we'll get yp equal to a u plus b v already we having u and v then yp equal to a into 1 plus b into e power 2x or yp equal to a plus b into e power 2x. Okay, here we need to find a and b using formula by the method of variation of parameters. So by using variation of parameters,
we'll find a b using the formula a equal to integral minus v r by u v one minus v u one into d x and b equal to integral u r by u v one minus v u one into d x. So in order to find a and b, we need to find u v one minus v u one. We are having u equal to one and v equal to e power a. e power 2x right let's find u1 and v1 u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x which is derivative of constant with respect to x zero so u1 is zero let's now find v1 v1 is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x derivative of e power a sorry e power 2x with respect to x then v1 equal to Derivative of e power two x with respect to x is two into e power two x, right? So we got u one v one and sorry u v and u one v one. Let's now find u v one minus v u one. U one into v one. 2 e power 2x minus v e power 2x into u1 zero, which is equals to 2 e power 2x minus zero, which is equals to 2 e power 2x, which is non-zero, right? Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. Fine. Now we got u v1 minus v u1, which is 2 e power 2x. Let's now find a and b. A is given by minus v r by u v one minus v u one into d x, right? This equals to integral minus v e power two x into r. This is your r e power x sine x by u v one minus v u one is two e power two x into d x. So cancel e power two x. E power two x will get minus one by two into integral e power x sine x. Since we know that integral e power a x sine b x d x equals to e power a x by a square plus b square into A sine b x minus b cos b x, right? Now compare integral e power sine x, sorry, e power x sine x with e power a x sine b x. Then for a equal to one and b equal to one, we'll get minus one by two into e power x by one square plus one square into a one into sine. 1 into x minus b 1 into cos 1 into x, right? Which is equals to minus 1 by 2 into e power x by 1 square 1 plus 1 into 1 into sine x minus 1 into cos x is cos x, right? Okay, this is equals to minus one by two into e power x by one plus one two into sine x minus cos x, which is equals to minus one by four into e power x of sine x minus cos x. This is our required a. Now we need to find b. We'll find b using integral u r by U v one minus v u one into d x is equal to integral u one into r e power x sine x by u v one minus v u one is two e power two x into d x. This is equal to integral or one by two integral e power x into e power minus two x or we can just write e power x sine x into one by e power two x. Into dx, right? This equals to one by two into integral e power x 
sin x into we can write 1 by e power 2x as e power minus 2x into dx which is equals to 1 by 2 into e power x into e power minus 2x into sin x into dx which is equals to 1 by 2 into integral e power x minus 2x into sin x dx right We can write e power x into e power minus 2x as e power x minus 2x. This equals to 1 by 2 into integral e power minus x because x minus 2x is minus x into sin x dx. Since we know that integral e power ax sin bx into dx is e power ax by a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. Right, then b becomes 1 by 2 into for a equal to minus 1 and b equal to 1 will get e power minus 1 into x by minus 1 whole square plus 1 square into a minus 1 into sin 1 into x minus b 1 into cos 1 into x right which is equals to 1 by 2 into e power minus x by minus 1 whole square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 into minus sine 1 into x is x minus cos x which is equals to 1 by 2 into e power minus x by 2 into minus sine x minus cos x This becomes 1 by 2 to the 4 into e power minus x of minus sin x minus cos x. So now we got a and b, right? Let's now write yp. We have yp equal to a plus b e power 2x, right? This is equals to a minus 1 by 4 e power x into sin x minus cos x plus b 1 by 4 e power minus x of minus sin x minus cos x into e power 2x. This becomes minus 1 by 4 into e power x sin x minus e power x cos x plus 1 by 4 into e power minus x into e power 2x is e power 2x minus x or minus sin x minus cos x, right? This becomes minus 1 by 4 into e power x sin x minus e power x cos x or just multiply minus 1 by 4 with the two terms. plus 1 by 4 into e power 2x minus x is e power x of minus sin x minus cos x. Then yp becomes minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x minus into minus plus 1 by 4 e power x cos x plus into minus minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x plus into minus minus 1 by 4 e power x cos x. So here 1 by 4 e power x cos x and minus 1 by 4 e power x cos x gets cancelled and we will get minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x. Right? Which is equals to minus 2 by 4 e power x sin x or you can just write it as 2 into minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x or just write minus 2 by 4 e power x sin x or just take minus 1 by x 
sorry minus 1 by 4 common then you will get e power x sin x plus e power x sin x you are having 2 e power x sin x right so you can write it as 2 into e power x sin x which is equal to minus 1 by 2 e power x sin x which is a required y p. So now we got y p and already we have y c so let's now write the general solution. Therefore The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc, c1 plus c2 e power 2x. And yp is minus 1 by 2 into e power x sin x, which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from variation of parameters in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye